So in previous examples, we've been saying that, oh, we have no concentration of a certain product. And so we know that we have to lose from this side, lose x's on this side to gain over here. You know, in this case, if we had a zero here, even if we had a concentration here, we'd have to lose from this side to gain something here. But you know what? What if we had a concentration of, well, let's say it's one moles per liter, and let's say we have a concentration of everything. So which way does this reaction have to go, shift, in order to get to equilibrium. Is it at equilibrium? Everything's equal. No, no, no. Look, if you plug all of these into expression, and this is balanced 1, 1, 1, 1, can you all understand that the expression would be 1 times 1 over 1 times 1, which equals 1? So, by plugging those numbers into an expression before they're actually an equilibrium concentration, but still an initial concentration, you're not finding K, you're just finding a quotient called Q. And if the Q value is less than K, now here we said that the value, by plugging these into the expression, would be the number 1. But the K value says, no, we want to be at equilibrium at 5.10. So that means then, you need to make more products and have less reactants to make that number go up to 5.1, which, of course, as a Q, was the number 1. And so when Q is less than K, the reaction shifts to the right to make more of these. So you put the pluses on this side and the minuses on this side. But what happens if your Q value greater than K? Then you've got too much product and not enough reactant, and so that the reaction shifts to the left and you lose from the product side to gain on the reactant side. What if Q equaled K? Right, then you're at equilibrium.